Hi guys, welcome to the Creation of Marin TV, episode 4, The Ascending Avatars. In this episode, we're going to talk about the Hood Stars or The Ascending Avatars. So in the previous episodes, I spoke about how I wanted to create my own fictional photographic universe. And the beginning of that started with me creating the first three characters, which were Monica, Chardonnay, Jerome. And they were supposed to be under Voyeur instead of Merlin TV. And the idea at the time was to tell individual stories of people, just regular people. And I was just going to give them regular names. So they weren't going to be superheroes or have superhero ideas. It was just going to be characters, just regular characters. And the idea was just going to be their stage name or the name they go by. And it was going to be super erotic, very provocative, very sexually charged. But as time passed by, I realized I didn't really want to go towards that direction because even though I love provocative work, I love sexually charged work, um, that is only just a little bit part of me. I am very deep into philosophy, spirituality, meditation, and human evolution. And I wanted to be able to put those elements in the stories at the forefront rather than it be just sex. I knew I wanted to do something more superhero based. I've always loved superheroes and not in the way that you would think that I love superheroes. I love them more for the idea. I love the idea of somebody just getting dressed up in something ridiculous and feeling like they could save the world. You know, in the superhero movies, they actually show us the actual superpowers they have. And you know, Everybody dreams to have something special that nobody else has. With my idea, I wanted to, to make the superhero something that we all could achieve. Something that's a possibility for all humans. So I had to search what is the superhero version of a human that is the most realistic. And the superhero concept that I had was Nirvana or the fourth and fifth dimensions of our of our world. I learned about the third, fourth, fifth dimension through reading a lot about Buddhism and metaphysics. At Merlin TV, the third dimension, we are in this world, in the ego world, and we are this color, brown, everything is very earth, very natural, supposedly. And once the human meditates or uses psychedelics, drugs, whatever, to reach that next dimension, once they reach fourth dimension, then, that's when their skin color changes into blue, pink, red, and whatever color. And once they reach the fifth dimension, they can be whatever color. And the idea behind those colors is from astrology and astrotheology. I am a huge fan of astrology. I am a huge fan of astrotheology. And I am not a fan in the sense that I believe in it. I don't take it as a religion. I, I, I'm more fascinated by the idea of it. I'm more fascinated by the idea that this is a system of organization that's lived for this long. Like the early human civilization looked at the stars and they've managed to create a system that relates to us with the stars, you know, as above, so below. From so many years of telling that story, the astrology story, um, we're all collectively believing in our sun signs, in our moon signs, in our rising signs. That text, that story, that astrology story has to be in our narrative, in our human narrative. So that's why I'm using astral theology to organize my universe. Um, I'm using the planets to represent the colors that the avatars turn when, when they become fourth or fifth dimension. So basically, as a, me right now, I'm a Leo and my dominant planet is Pluto. So if I'm in the third dimension, my stories, my thought process are only Leo and Pluto dominated. Like I'm only gonna think in a way that a Plutonian person would think. I'm only gonna think in a way that somebody who's a Leo would think. If I'm in the fourth dimension, my perspective is wider. I have more storylines to choose from. Things come easier to me. I have more options in the fourth dimension, but it's still under Leo or Plutonian. But if I'm in the fifth dimension, my options are even wider. I can choose the stories from Pisces, from Tauruses, from Venus, from Jupiter, from the sun, from the moon. I can be whatever, I can be whatever color. So that's my idea behind it. I chose those colors because I wanted to, red and Mars, most humans would associate those two things together. 
peak and venus most humans would associate those two together basically what us humans associate the colors with i decided to call these avatars the hood stars because they are transcending fourth and fifth dimension that is transcending and hood star is high star in french and my name is french i love fashion like i said hukator i love hukator and my idea was basically to make to have a play on that my background is in fashion i love superheroes i love the word star um hood star so that's my idea behind the avatars i just want them to represent our evolution I want them to represent our future. I want them to represent our greatness. I want them to represent our potential. You know, Merlin TV is a brand that is focused on transcending our human potential. I want to surpass the limits of our human potential. And I want to tell stories of that, individual stories of these avatars in the most realistic, way possible but still have a lot of fantasy infused thank you for watching this episode in the next episode the astro realm i'm gonna give you a deeper explanation of what i'm doing with the midnight globe thank you for watching make sure to subscribe to my youtube channel check out my website merlin tv follow me on instagram twitter tiktok at merlin tv have a great day and night